Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all having an excellent day. Um, we are back here again for more makeup and as of late, more cats. So I've got Adelaide's in the background here, Salem's by me. So hopefully you guys don't mind, let me know. I can always lock them out, but then they just cry because they really get bad separation anxiety. So the cats are here, I'm here, and December's Ipsy bag is here. So if you'd like to see me do an unboxing, that is what we are doing today is an Ipsy unboxing. I guess it would be unbagging in this case. Um, the Ipsy videos, I've seen a lot going around, but I usually see the Ipsy box compared to the BoxyCharm box. Um, and this is the smallest one you can get. I believe the BoxyCharm boxes are 25 and the Ipsy box is something that's comparable to that. Um, this bag used to be $10 per month. They have since upped it to $12.87 is what I just see that I had um, taken out of my account this past month but you typically get five products and a bag. Now they are not full size products, but personally I like that more because I don't wanna get stuck with a full size of something that I've never tried and I might hate and feel like I wasted my money on it. Um, I like to try it for, you know, if you think about the fact that it's $12.87, even if we're not counting the bag and you divide that by the five items, it's $2.57 approximately per sample and they last a really long time. So I would rather do that and then if I don't like it, I'm out under $3 and then if I like it, I can buy more. So let's get into this. Um, not only do we have the bag, but also if you review the items, you can earn points. And with those points, you can redeem additional items. So I do have one thing in here that I believe is not part of the bag. It's the one thing that I actually chose because of my points. Let me find my little paper here. Yes, yeah, so they include this paper, which I really like. This is new. Um, I don't get these every month now. I usually pause my subscription and get it like once every three months because there's just a lot of makeup for me to keep up with. Um, but I do like that they are including this paper now that tells you about all the products and how to use them. The one thing that I chose to get was this Private Doctor. This is the Define Minus Serum. It's supposed to minimize lines and create definition. Wow, Salem's being a lot. Hold on. Sorry, I'm hoping Salem's almost done with that whole kitten stage of like, I just need to get into everything all the time, but it is where we are now. So back to this. Um, this was kind of a freebie bonus that I exchanged some points for. Um, it says to apply to cleansed and toned, toned skin. Tingling may occur. Oh, that's interesting. Um, as the ingredient absorbs. So we'll see. I'm getting a little more aware of just some fine lines here in my forehead. You can't see them really too badly with the lights, but um, so I'm just trying to be proactive with my skincare regimen. I really like my Hey Honey serum, but I actually am out of that. So I was like, oh, that's kind of expensive. So this is free. I'll try it. And then maybe whichever one I like better, I'll buy the full size of. Um, so again, here are the different products that we have. A little sneak peek there. The first thing I see that's outside of the bag is this brush here. Um, this says, we designed this brush to make your life easier. We shall see. So this is supposed to be an all over highlight. Let's take it out. It's an interesting case. Ooh, it's like a rubber grippy handle. I don't have anything like this. That's really nice. Oh, it's so soft. This might be better than my Morphe Jeffree Star one. Sorry, Jeffree, but that's really nice. Like, that's so soft. I'm ready to use that ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. That's so nice. Um, the one thing I will say that the bigger boxes include that I don't think they put on these smaller bags are the value of each item. So, you know, I think they don't do that because they're sample sizes. However, they could for like a brush because I mean, it's a brush. It's not like a sample size. It's a brush. So that says it is the complex culture all over highlight powder brush. Um, and it is natural. Oh, there is a Syntex, some sort of technology that mimics natural brushers, but it's not. Um, so that's supposed to be for highlighter. 
um, or to set makeup in the under eye area. So I'm really looking forward to using that because I only have one other highlighter brush like that and the other highlighter brush I have is like a fan brush. So that's really useful for me. So in the actual bag, we have this bag. It's a foil bag. I really like the green that they have, not only on the zipper handle, but all of this is green. That's really nice. Sometimes I think the bags are a little hideous, not gonna lie, but this one is really nice. Um, so the next thing we have is by the brand Cake. I know some people complain that these are not always well-known brands versus BoxyCharm are a little more well-known, but I personally don't mind that. That's kind of how I get to know new brands and go don't get stuck in a rut, so I don't mind that. Maybe you guys have a different opinion on that. This is the Milk Made Totally to Die For Indulgent Body Milk Cream. So this is Oat Milk Candied Cream Seriously Beautifying. That's, that's a lot all on that label there. So um, this says it's infused with candied oat milk concentrate and marshmallow root extract. Interesting. Um, and it, it is paraben and I think it's pronounced phthalates. I've heard Tati talk about that ingredient before that it's more of a natural thing if it leaves that out. Um, so let's see what our instructions say. This says um, for the winter time, I know I get really dry hands and legs especially, so this is a nice body cream, vitamin E, shea butter, sweet almond oil, um, and you use this best on damp skin as soon as you get out of the shower, it says, and it helps lock in moisture for extra hydrating and skin smoothing benefits. So love this, just finished a big bottle of Ulta lotion. So again, something that I can actually use and it's not just going to be like, well, I have 20 of those. Okay, whatever. Um, the next thing I see here is actually an Avon item. Surprisingly, I've never seen an Avon item in an Ipsy bag. I personally don't have a problem with Avon products. I just am kind of surprised to see something like that in here. So this is a glimmer stick um, and it is in the shade. This is in the shade 24 karat. So it's basically a, a gold eyeliner instead of a black eyeliner. It says it stays in place for up to 10 hours um, and that it's easily removed with a cleansing balm or makeup remover to break down the pigment. So hmm, I think usually in an Avon catalog, these are like, I don't know, 4 or $5. So this one's definitely not worth that much. I don't know about all of these other ones. Now, I will say... I don't feel ripped off though because of this next item. Okay, we have, it's a small one, but we do have a Tarte product in here. So they're not all unknown brands. Um, and this is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Now, I know I've never done one of these videos for you guys before, but um, I think if you guys like them that I will continue to do them for you. Like I said, I don't subscribe to these every single month just because to me personally, it's a lot to keep up with and $12 a month is not a commitment that I want, um, but I can kind of um, swatch, so to speak, things for you. I don't know how I can really swatch this lotion per se because it is lotion, um, but let me open it up here because I can at least tell you guys what I think about the smell of it. Sometimes stuff is just scented weirdly and it's not good. I know it said for best use right out of the shower, but we're just gonna do a little teeny bit on the back of the hand here, just give you kind of a first impressions. It's very thick. It reminds me of like, there's a stuff called, I think, Moo Moo Butter. Oh, that's not at all what I thought it would smell like. It's not quite fruity. I guess it kind of smells like, well, what they said, what ingredient was that? It is kind of like a sweet, like I, I think it's the marshmallow. It's very interesting. It's hard to describe, but it does smell good. Um, the Avon Glimmer Sticks here. Here's the tip. Give you a little swatch of the gold. That's very pretty. So there's the gold. I don't think, there we go. This is truly what it looks like in person. It looks kind of flat here, but when I turn my hand here, see if I can get it again. That is more the color it looks in person, that really metallic shimmery color. I definitely think that's something that would look good for um, holidays. And it's just like a retractable pencil there, which I like that it's retractable. 
So let's look at this Tarte blush. So this is in shade Shimmer and Shake. It's very pretty. It's really tiny. And it's in, well, hello. Hi. You wanted to be with me, I guess? That really startled me, you guys. Hold on. Whew, sorry, just, it's just a lot on this channel, you guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I've gotten Tarte products before in Ipsy, and they have been a little bit better. And frankly, this packaging feels like extremely cheap. There is a little plastic protector, but I'm mm, not really impressed with this packaging. It's, I mean, Wet n Wild, the Wet n Wild video I did last week was more impressive. So here's the blush, though. It is a nice neutral shade, which I like really neutral mauve blushes like this for my fair skin. So I will definitely use that eventually. And then we have one more item in here. Okay, and this is the Rose Absolute First Serum from Aromatica, maybe? Sorry if I'm not saying that right, but try my best. So this says it is a highly concentrated and enriched vegan serum containing natural Bulgarian damask rose oil and super berry complex that provide nutrients and hydration to your skins. Suggest to use it in the morning and evening to cleanse skin before your moisturizer. So it's a serum. Um, I don't know if this says really what it does beyond just moisturize you. So this is a detoner and a serum, so it does both things. Um, it balances your skin, hydrates, and illuminates. And it suggests three drops of this serum. Draw on dry skin morning and night. Press it into your skin using your fingertips and let it sink in. So that's the bag, guys. So we had the bag, the serum, the Avon pencil, the Tarte blush, the hand and body cream, the highlighting brush, and then I chose to have the freebie add-on with my points, the additional um, serum for my face there. So what do you guys think? Do you think that all of that put together is worth the $12 and I believe I said 87 cents before. Sorry if the cents part isn't right. Personally, I think it's okay. That's a, a decent deal. Um, I don't know how I feel about some of those products. That's kind of why I do this to just test things. And it's kind of like a cheaper version of a mystery box to me. So I really like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Can't wait to talk with you in the comments about what your thoughts are. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I upload every single Sunday. Would love to have you back. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.